Hello you lovely people, it's the Clay Golem back again with another video for general DM tips and tools rather than looking at Foundry specifically. Um, we're on a bit of a roll with a few of these extra ones and if you hadn't guessed we're looking at Forgotten Adventures today. Um, this is a absolute mine of useful stuff for DMs. Now regardless of whether you're using a VTT um, or you're, you just want maps to put on a screen and images and things like that, uh, obviously we focus quite a lot on Foundry. Um, these are useful for that as well. Okay, so we are going to www.forgotten-adventures.net uh, now, just so you're aware, there is a mixture of stuff here. There's lots of free stuff and there's lots of pay for stuff as well. And as you know, I prefer to focus on free tools and things that we can use so as many people can access stuff as possible, regardless of the size of your wallet. If you are using Foundry, you've already had to shell out for that, all right? So <laughs> let's try and keep everything else uh, and look at the, the, the more cost effective options, shall we say. But we will talk about some of the pay for stuff in here. So immediately, I need to zoom my screen in a bit, make that a bit easier for you guys to see. There we go. So um, I'm searching in all products here, and you can see we've got map making, tokens, battle maps, and others. And I've got some filters on the left-hand side over here. Uh, and if I just make sure I'm on battle maps, um, we have got tons of them. Now I can sort by the latest um, or by the most popular, um, like that. Ta-da! Uh, and I can sort from price low to high. Let's do that, shall we? Because, you know, <laughs> look how many are free. So any of these we can click on and have a little look at. But for example, look, there's the red brand hideout from Fandel from below. So let's click on that one, have a quick look at it. Now you can see this one does say it's free. It gives you the size of it um, and it shows you what that map looks like. So you may choose if you've got access to the adventure, of course you can just pull the map from there like I did. You might prefer this slightly different style or if you haven't got the adventure, you can use the map from here. Or you can use this map for any adventure you're doing. You do not have to follow any of the set adventures, of course not. Um, it, it's just here. Now it does say FA Battle Maps Foundry module. There is a specific module designed for Foundry um, to access these battle maps rather than just doing them as a download it upload thing. Now I've not played with that um, and for me I'm not currently planning to use the Forgotten Adventures maps because I've got the module ones. But you've seen my map making skills for those of you who watched that video oh, it was a few weeks ago now, um, me attempting to make stuff. There's ones here like this. I can just nick and go, oh, I want a campfire scene. I could just nick that one. Okay, so this is one uh, camping in a swamp. Um, a whole bunch of different kind of maps in here as well. Okay, really, really useful. Um, what else have they got? Cragmore Castles here. Uh, just general swamp ruins. Um, Highland ruins here. Uh, look at this, this this gully map. You know that might be that we can use that somewhere. You know, possibly even in Stormwreck Isle, we could put that in as an extra map, an extra encounter if we wanted to. These are still all free ones. There's tons of them. Fandelver Encounters Pack. Look in the middle there. You can see Old Owl Well right there in the middle. So again, it's not necessarily a better map, but it is free. Um, and it might be that you prefer these. Absolutely. Go for it. Just tons of them. All sorts of things. Now we're starting to get into some of the paid for ones here. Um, but when you look at this winter cave, it's a dollar forty nine. It's not that expensive, is it? Okay, so if they've got something specific here for you, um, <laughs> come and grab it. And if you think that the amount of time it took me to make a very average map, um, it's probably cheaper for me, time-wise, to just come and pay £1.49 for, um, for a map. And there's some really good ones in there. They're really nice if you like this style. Um, the shipwreck there. Let's go to the really expensive ones. Uh, let's look at Highlands. 4 99 That's still not expensive, is it? What do we get for this? Um, yeah. Bridge broken. Bridge not broken. We've got the actual tile map itself, so that bridge for going across this gap and things like that. Um, and as you can see, actually, depending on 
what tier you are because this is a community so you can join as the community it says in the top right hand corner about logging in with patron so if you are a patron supporter you get access to a whole bunch of these stuff um free rather than paying for it anyway as a member <clears throat> excuse me let's move on and look at tokens so again same with those we've got on the left hand side we've got creatures or heroes npcs adversaries spirits we can again sort them look at the free ones because you know um we've got all the pride ones here uh, all sorts of different creatures like the rock you know okay two dollars 49 there's a bit more um, but when you look at things like the townsfolk, I mean, look, you get you get a whole bunch of them. A whole bunch of townsfolk you can get for this. Different tokens if you want them. For me personally, I'm not a huge fan. I, I get it, and they're really good. I'm not a huge fan of this top-down kind of style. Um, that's just me. <laughs> that's just me. Um, so for me, no thanks. Um, but they are really good, what they are. Uh, yeah, tons of them. Tons. So we've got three pages of them. Let's go to the really expensive end and see what happens up right up that end. Look, tokens bundle 18. So it's $20, but you get loads of them. Whoops. Make that so you can see it. There's loads of tokens in here. So this could be right up your alley, so to speak, um, of what you're looking for. Yeah, really nice. Um, what about map making? Let's look at map making. Uh, oh, we've looked at map making. We've looked at tools. Uh, let's look at. We looked at. No, we looked at battle maps. Let's look at map making. I saw myself out in a minute. You know how it is. And it's definitely not Friday today. <laughs> like yesterday, I was recording a video going, oh, my poor brain. It's because it's Friday. Wasn't even close. Wasn't even close. Uh, da -da -da. Look, now, I'm not going to download this one because uh, I did start the download. And it's huge, like absolutely, it's like, I don't know, like gigs of, I think it was something like 12 gigs or something like that. Excuse me, flashing my screen over there for you. Um, yeah, so I did download a few bits for that. Um, and I downloaded some of the packs, so the map making pack, some of the tile sets, modular caves I downloaded. So these are just individual tiles. Let me make those bigger. Thank you very much. Individual tiles here that you can place on yourself, onto your maps, to make up particular scenes. Um, brilliant. Um, dungeon decor. Um, there's sort of, you know, you can see folder upon folder. All these different types of barrels that you might want. Um, or buckets. Um, what else was there in this lot? Uh, in the map making, oh, that's the tile set, so just looks at that. Uh, the thunder tree battle map yeah I mean it's, that's a it's a beautiful map you can't argue with that look at the look at the detail absolutely gorgeous and actually I hadn't zoomed in before it has actually got the grid on it as well uh, so that might be right up the street and they've got three different versions of them um, for the three different levels so you can actually utilize those if you want to utilize levels or just pick whichever one works for you now this is this is effectively the one that we've been working with, although we've been using the module version, um, which is nowhere near as detailed and, you know, dare I say it, nowhere near as pretty as this. Uh, we can see uh, Redoth the Druid's little house down here where he's camping out and things like that. Um, yeah, beautiful, beautiful. So entirely up to you what you want to do. Um, but yeah, a lot of that came from the Mac making pack. We've got modular skeletons. Um, weapons pack so all sorts of weapons you want to put down death and decay destruction you know that's like hang on a minute we've got our goblin encounter thing where there's you know the, the horses there that they say in the module while just wandering around no i had the horses butchered when i run it <laughs> but there's a nice butchered horse i could use for that loads and loads of stuff and again so far all of this lot is free we're looking at i know i'm going quite quickly mm -mm -mm, another death and decay pack oh the corpse is lovely um but if you really want to get into creating maps and sceneries using tiles rather than just plain maps just look at them dungeon decor table clutter pots and pans and tools and things like that um that's probably not a level of detail that i want to go to with my maps because of the time it takes without necessarily adding value um 
but you can, and it's all here. Yeah, we're still on free lot. We're, these are all still free. Let's jump to the end. What we got right down here. So the most expensive pack, actually, they're all free until we get to this adversaries guards pack. That's the only one currently that costs anything. All the rest of these are hundred percent free without being a Patreon member. You can see at the top right it says log in with Patreon. I'm not logged in yet. I can still access and download these the Winter Holidays pack if you want it. Um, it, it really is a lovely set of assets to get. Uh, they got some bundles as well if you want to put other stuff to you know buy big bundles of stuff all together lots of monsters and things uh what's under other I'm not sure if i clicked under other uh oh just a few other bits that don't necessarily go anywhere animations pack mm, it's nice um just all sorts of things that you might want to peruse and potentially they've got legacy battle maps so i assume these ones that they don't support anymore um, or have improved and replaced with other things. Um, this forest pond. Is it just me? Are you seeing what I'm seeing? <laughs> I'm not going to call that forest pond map. I'm going to call in that something else. Um, yeah, winter maps, all sorts of stuff. Underground fight club. <laughs> like it. Uh, city taverns, you know, just loads of stuff. But anyway, um, I'm now just browsing for my own entertainment rather than actually showing or teaching you anything at all. Uh, but yeah, Forgotten Adventures, lots of free stuff. Grab it, use it, brilliant. Put it in your VTT or don't. Um, you know, if you want, really wanted to, I don't suppose there's any reason you couldn't print these out and have them laminated if that's your play style. Um, you know, please consider the environment. But, uh, you know, you might do that if you want to use actual miniatures. Print it out laminate it and you have a whole rack of different maps that you can pull out to play with with your with your uh, with your friends and things um or stick it on a tv just for them to look at you know there's lots of these that are not necessarily battle maps there's lots of scenes as well right i'm going to shut up i'm going to leave this with you um I know some of you are already using this because you've told me about it and it's how I got here is by you guys leaving comments and saying, oh, are you aware? Have you looked at? Um, so thank you for those recommendations. Um, I didn't know about it. Um, and I guess most of the audience, there'll be lots of people who don't know about it as well. So um, yeah, good on you. Thank you very much. Really appreciate your input. Um, let me know if you're not already using them and you're going to use them now. That'd be great. See you guys. Take care.